Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Windows Server 2016 on VMware Workstation 12. So the first thing you need to do, you'll need to get a copy of Windows Server 2016. So it's actually available from the Windows site here for an evaluation version and I'll put this link in the description below but it's microsoft.com forward slash en hyphen us forward slash eval center forward slash evaluate hyphen windows hyphen server 2016. So you'll just need to pop in some details here and then you can continue and download your copy of Windows 2016. Now I've done this already so I'm just going to minimize this here and I want to come back to VMware Workstation. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is I want to click File and New Virtual Machine. You can leave it as the typical recommended settings here and click Next. And now I'm just going to click the middle one here to browse to a .iso. So I'm going to browse to where I downloaded my Windows Server 2016 ISO. So I'll click Browse and I have it here in my downloads. So I'll click Open and then I'll click Next. Okay, so I'm going to select Windows and I'm going to select Windows 2016 and I'll click Next. I'm going to leave the name as Windows Server 2016 and I'm going to split the virtual disk into multiple files and I'm just going to lower this slightly since this is only a test. But if you're planning to use this server for certain tasks, you might want to leave it at the 60 gigs, but I'm just going to lower it to 30 gigs for the moment and I'll click Next. Okay, I'm just going to go to customize hardware here quickly. I'm going to up the memory slightly. I'm just going to up this to 3 gigs of RAM. I'll give it slightly more processing power. And I'll leave the rest as the preset and I'll click close. And then I'll click finish. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm now going to click my Windows Server machine. and I'm going to click power on this virtual machine. Okay, let me just readjust this screen here. Okay, so I've readjusted the screen here just so we can fit everything in. And I'm just going to click X on this here and I'll give us some more space. So I'm just going to leave the language as English United States. I'm going to leave the time and currency to English United States. And I'm just going to change the keyboard input to Ireland, which is where I am. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to click Next. And next you just want to click install now. So what I'll do is while this is going through the initial install, I'll pause this video and I'll resume at any relevant pieces. Okay, now you can see we're being prompted for a few options here. And there has been a change in Windows where they're now installing what would be known previously as core server, where you'd only have a a command line interface into the server similar to PowerShell. So for this one we want to make sure that we click the desktop experience. So this will give us a Windows GUI that we can use. So be sure to select the desktop experience and then click next. And when you're prompted read the license and accept it if you accept the terms. I'm going to click then a custom install. So I have my 30 gig blank disk. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click next. And we can see it's now kicked off. So I'll pause the video here again and come back for any relevant pieces. Okay, so we're back here now and we're now being prompted for a password to use to access this computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in a password here and I will confirm it underneath and I will click finish. And we can see now it's finalizing our settings and it looks like we are in here now. So this all looks good for us now. So I'm just going to type in VM and I'm going to put in the control alt delete into the machine. Okay, so we looks like, yes, and it's prompted us here. So now I want to pop in that password that we've just set. And it looks like it's going to log in here for us now. So it's just preparing the first time things. And there we have it, we have Windows Server 2016 installed on VMware Workstation. If you encountered any difficulty following along with this tutorial, be sure to comment below and be sure to subscribe for more videos and tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.